Mike McCool here with the Royal Examiner. I'm in our studio with Lisa Rudisil. Lisa is from the Warren County School System. Mm -hmm. I was going to say yeah. school board, but we don't <laughs> want to say that because I always see her at these school board meetings. Yes. Uh, she is the director of elementary education. Correct. And today we're going to talk about kindergarten and kindergarten registration. And, uh, you know, if you have a young one or know someone that has a young one, this is something you really need to uh, key in on. So, uh, Lisa, go ahead and tell us this registration uh, starts when? Okay, so registration will begin April 6th, and our process this year is online. Now, we do know that some families don't have access to the technology that they right. may need in order to register their children online. So parents, uh, guardians, family members can contact the school at any point in time, and they'll be happy to schedule an in-person appointment. Schools will also have two different open in-person dates. So April 14th and May 12th from 1 to 4, uh, families can come in person if that is easier for them. Yeah, sometimes it is. It definitely, for <laughs> lots of reasons. Well, you know, I noticed that some of the people that are living out in the county have had a hard time getting their yes. students connected. And I, know, I do know that uh, Tim Grant, the IT director, has jumped through hoops to make sure everybody gets on, but there's still a few stragglers that I happen to be one of those places in the county that struggles. So yeah. working from home was was yes, tough, and tough. and Mr. Grant has been fabulous. He's he has definitely gone above and beyond to to help families with that for sure. Yeah, but so, so every school, every elementary school has a, a kindergarten this year, coming year. Yes, yes. And so. Uh, uh, whatever is the closest school to you. You have a map on your website. And we stuff. do. So um, if you do, not, if families do not know which school their children will be attending for kindergarten, then you can most certainly contact the school board office, any of our schools, um, or go on our website. You can type your address in, and it tells you what school your children are zoned to oh, attend. That's great. So uh, what, do, what do uh, they have looking forward to in their kindergarten program this we're going to, we're talking about school starting in August, September of 2021. August, our first day of school is August 10th this oh, coming year. That's early. <laughs> yes, well, it they're is. Trying to make up for uh, so yes. what are we expecting? Are we going to be kindergartners going to be punching in their Chromebooks? Well, <laughs> kindergartners punching into their Chromebooks is probably a thing from here on out regardless uh, of the format of school. Right. Um, but that is definitely not our and and kindergartners don't have Chromebooks, they have tablets. Oh, that's right. So, <laughs> but um, you know, we have really missed for all indications are that we'll attend school completely in person, five days a week. Uh, that is what we're gearing up for. That's what we're planning for. So um, hopefully that is the plan we'll have moving forward. Now, our elementary students have been in person four days a week right. since the beginning of this school year even. So we've been very fortunate right. um, to have had that opportunity. But and we we want in person. We want kids in front of teachers. We want kids interacting with one another. We want them. We want them there. So right. we're looking forward to that opportunity. Well, but but technology now is is definitely going to be um, a thing. Kindergarten through twelfth, preschool maybe, uh, right. through twelfth grade. It's not going to go away. I, I, it's funny. A friend of ours. She had a little three year old and. She was trying to get her tablet, putting a Disney movie on for her. <laughs> Mommy, that's not how you do it. And she took that tablet, went zing, 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 zing. Oh, yes. And the movie popped up. I mean, she couldn't read, but boy, she knew how to <laughs> she work knew that how tablet. To work that. So, exactly. Uh, that's the technology that, you know, our young ones are growing up with. I know yes. a lot of older people, they look, oh, I don't have to get my phone to work, you know. And But yet these little kids are coming in and, yep. and uh, just whizzing. So it's really something good to learn. Yes. I mean, for for some of our teachers, you know, it was a Struggle. larger <laughs> learning cur curve for them than it was for our three, four, and five-year-olds. Yeah. But um, but everybody has definitely had to, to make changes in how they do things. And some of those have been uh, very good, very forward-thinking changes right. that, you know, instead of moving slowly towards those, this well, kind here of forced, it is. <laughs> it kind of forced us to make a change. I mean, yes. we've, we've been playing with it for the last 20 years, uh, and people talk about it, and then all of a sudden we were kind of forced into it. Yes. And uh, But 
I think the reason it worked so well is because we had been dipping the toe in for the last few years. Definitely. And so it wasn't a total shock to the system that we had to do it. So I think there was some preparation yeah, that had happened yeah, in the background. Definitely. Let's talk real quick about, you mentioned preschool. Is that part of this as well? Well, we also have a preschool program. Now, our preschool program um, is geared toward at-risk students. We receive funding from the state in order to serve our most at-risk populations. And we are, that registration is open right now. So if you if you have a three or a four-year-old or know anyone who has a three or a four-year-old, then please go on the Warren County Public Schools website. There's an application link there. And that can be taken, that can be dropped off at any school board, school or school the school board office. So when you say at risk, what's kind of a ballpark definition of that? Um, students who are living in poverty, that's definitely one of the considerations. Um, our homeless population, so we definitely want to make sure that we get our youngest kids in school um, and participating as, as early as we're able to. But those are two of the primary. We also have a fantastic preschool program, early childhood special education program. So any of the types of services that children, because we serve children from two years old to 22 years old. Yes, so, it is amazing. The, uh, these uh, these preschoolers, it's amazing what they learn. I always tell people, I said, yeah, think about this. A little five-year-old girl from China can speak Chinese before she's five. So, you know. <laughs> exactly. So we can do this. We can, we do, can do this. And we really develop our personalities and our language skills by the time we get out of kindergarten. Oh, come and on. We, that, that begins, and, you know, there's, there's so much research and evidence out there now that that language piece is the, is the key piece. So just, you know, talking, talking with your children sure. and reading to your children so that they're exposed to, um, to language is, right. is critical. And that's a huge focus of our preschool program is right. just how we, how we expose and encourage children to develop language. I wanted to mention that you mentioned the poverty level. Uh, I think people will be surprised of how high the poverty, I want to say high, but I mean in financial, uh, you know, it's not like living, uh, a lot of people live from paycheck to paycheck, but right. uh, you may qualify for it and not really consider yourself in poverty because we've always yeah. lived this way. Yes. And you might realize, you might think that, wait a minute, I don't quite make that much money. And so there could be some services available. So it yes. uh, behooves people to check this out. Oh, most uh, definitely. And you may not think of yourself as being in poverty, but... You know, you meet the guidelines, take advantage of it. And we also, we do have additional spaces that, that serve the, the um, public at large. So uh, those aren't, it is predominantly our at-risk population, sure. but I would encourage anyone um, to to apply and our family engagement coordinator, Jenny Donovan, uh, who works at our special services department, she's fabulous at um, really recruiting for our preschool program, right. and, and it has grown significantly. Well, it's, um, it's an important thing to do. I think our our young children, is, well, what they say, your children are our future. So That's right. Uh, and again, if you just throw it at them, they can learn that stuff. I mean, it's just amazing. Definitely. Uh, think, don't, don't think they can't learn, because they do, yes. and, and they learn from their parents. So maybe not always the best thing that they, yeah. <laughs> they learn. So they do learn what, from what their is parents. a typical day in kindergarten? I mean, if you don't mind me asking, I'm just kind of curious myself here. Sure. Well, kindergarten is not what you or no. I or you know have we necessarily experienced <laughs> exactly, and it that is definitely not what it is. Um, you know, our our kindergarten is a full day kindergarten, and it has been for many years. Um, while we definitely give our children opportunities to engage and play and you know that is not the focus of of kindergarten anymore it is very much an academic program so many of the things that we probably did in first grade are the things that we now do and yes are the things we now do in kindergarten so it is we expect our kindergarten students to be reading fluently at an appropriate level, of course, but sure. by the time they leave kindergarten. Right. So it is letters, it's sounds, it's numbers, and not just can I sing the ABC song, right. but, you know, can can I look at a book and, you know, my parents say, show me an A, and I'm able to show you an A on anywhere on the page. Um, 
60 sight words or those high frequency words that you see everywhere um, by the end of kindergarten 60 is is our goal of those words that students can read you know pretty much automatically sure, sure. Um, and not just rote counting you know I can say I can count from one to ten right. but being able to count objects and know which which group is fewer and which group is greater sure, and sure. those are all concepts that that kids will um, be expected to master in right, kindergarten right. so and the day is it like I said a full day um, they participate in music and PE and library just like their first through fifth grade. Well, so it's just um, like the rest of it. It is just like the rest of them. Problem solving, critical thinking, all oh, those things that definitely. we have to throw. We have to throw those education that's words right. out like <laughs> rubrics. And there you go. That's right. That's right. Um, but it is it is a, a rigorous kindergarten. Uh, the kindergarten standards in Virginia are, are pretty rigorous standards. Yeah. But you got to get a good start yes. and and learn those studies. Learn how to be a student. Yes. And that's the way you do it. You start when you're in kindergarten. Don't wait till you're in high school to learn how to study. <laughs> and I tell you, I, I hear, not frequently, but on occasion, well, kindergarten isn't required. So it's really not important that I, you know, send my child every day right. or they've missed. It is so important. And it is it is a requirement if your child's going to be successful in first grade. Exactly. I mean, you know, really it is um, what what they do is, are the building blocks right. of everything else that will follow. So it really is is critical. Well, if you wait until you're in first grade, then you got a lot of remedial catch-up. Yes, and, and that's another problem because when kids get behind, then they withdraw and they don't really participate. Mm -hmm. And then they feel, and it gets worse and it just kind of builds on that. So yes. it's kind of better to start off and... And yes. I know your teachers, I've met some of them at the schools on some of our little outings that we do, and they all are engaged. I was surprised. I was over at uh, uh, LFK, I can't even say that. <laughs> and uh, what are I thinking, like 13 kindergarten teachers or eight? It was a lot of them. I was surprised. <laughs> this team, they have teams. Yes. Well, in kindergarten, we are very fortunate in our division. All of our kindergarten teachers have assistants. So when you say eight, there are... Th and, and we, when I refer to teachers, when I talk about kindergarten teachers, it's just that way. Our instructional assistants are just as integral to, um, you know, our, our kindergarten students' education as their teachers are. And so we are very fortunate because that is definitely not the case everywhere. No, it's not. And I guess you have to teach a little sometimes uh, to uh, teach some life skills to some younger students very as well. much very much so, so. that's a that's something that I know teaching some... them how to do school is is just as big a deal as teaching them the the academic piece right right so if you, if you feel like your kids even behind a little bit it's okay you got a program for that we do you got a program so anyone that has a school age child or getting ready to have the school age child be sure you get registered. It's starting on April the 6th, mm -hmm. yep. uh, and uh, go to the school website. We'll put all that information here in the story below so people can click Great. on that. wonderful. And we're going to hang the banner up on the Southern State fence in a couple days. We appreciate and it. So that uh, you see that driving by, that's what it's all about. Yes. Uh, and a lot of good things that are happening in our school system. I know Dr. Ballinger is really a uh, an advocate for our young students and has yes. really pushed to make sure that these things happen. Yes, and, he has. Uh, and our older students. I'm really, you know, I know he got in at the tail end of the time, but uh, he's he's really pushing. You can tell he's engaged into uh, into the whole school system and, and yes. each school. And uh, I think that's a good thing. You can tell the difference. And our school board. So I want to mm -hmm. give them some kudos as well. Definitely. Which I, said, I see you at the, you know, you're there, I'm there, <laughs> and we're at the school board meeting. And what surprises me, and I told Dr. Ballinger this, when we videotaped the school board meetings, we get hundreds of views, and that really surprises me. Who want to watch a, a school right. board meeting and a work session? But you know what? People log on and watch that. Yes, yeah, And yeah. so they are interested in what goes on in our county. And, uh, definitely. So I think definitely. that's a good thing. That's oh, what, it's that's what fantastic. We want. That's what. It is fantastic. So, again, fantastic. anytime you've got something you want to add to this, you let me know. Uh, we'll get on here. We'll talk about it. And, it's, and okay. I talked to Dr. Ballinger. We'll talk about as we get closer to the end of the year about graduation and senior proms and yes. and of course then our whole plan 
which is subject to change. Yeah, <laughs> to, <laughs> at uh, any moment. I, I know that they have a plan. They have multiple plans, really. <laughs> and uh, so we'll see how it weighs out. Yes. And so I would, there are several documents when, uh, which when families log on right, to, right. to try to register, there are some documents that are required. But please do not wait until you have all of those documents to begin registration. Begin that at any point. So you can log in and complete half of it and save it and yes. come back. Oh, that's great. Yes. And um, one of the big things is the student physical and immunizations that are required to enter kindergarten. And the the biggest mistake that I've seen families made, make, and I've been working in elementary schools, this is my 29th year, so is waiting too long to schedule that physical, the kindergarten right. physical, because everyone is trying to schedule their school How physicals. How far out can they go? It's, it, now, it's do not too it soon. Now. No, it is not too okay. soon. The physical has to be within 12 months of the oh, first okay. day so, of school. So if you have not made those appointments, definitely make those appointments kind as quickly as possible. kind of like the first thing, even before we get registered, let's get the yes. doctor's appointment. Yes. And it's hard to get an appointment. Oh, it is difficult, and especially now. And it a, is definitely. a school physical, because they put those at the bottom of the list. Exactly, so, exactly. So check it out sooner than later. So. And I would just add um, the things that you can do that will most prepare your child, a child for kindergarten. Read to them every day, um, even if you're reading the back of the cereal box. I mean, read to them every day. Um, help them learn things like uh, sharing and um, please and thank you taking turns and <laughs> yes those those um, social skills <laughs> exactly um, those social skills having some of those um, understanding some of those really help to facilitate the learning process significantly yes, so. and sometimes I think we spend so much effort emphasis on the skill part and less emphasis on the character building yes. that, you know, I tell people as an employer, I can teach you the skill, but I can't yeah. teach you how to get along, carry on a conversation. Uh, I use an example sometimes in, in the military that for, if you want to become an officer in the military, they think, oh, I, you know, I have to have a college degree, but strange degrees, history majors. Uh, English. Right. You know, they don't want business and engineering unless that's what you're going to be. They want somebody that can carry on a conversation, get along with people, mm -hmm. can write, think for themselves. And that's the kind of things you learn in what we used to call a liberal arts education, but kind of lost its flavor, I think, over the years. But, yes. but you learn these things. What's that, you know, what was the guy that wrote the book? Everything I learned, I learned in kindergarten. kindergarten. It is so <laughs> true. It is very you, you true. You read those 20 things there, every one of those things that you need later in life, you learned in kindergarten. Yes. So. And I think facilitating independence, any way that you can encourage independence in your child, you know, so that they aren't... Um, so frightened, you know, to exactly. leave your side, you know, to leave their parents' side. That yeah. one is is a big one. And just, you know, as you're they grab walking, hold of that leg, don't they? That, <laughs> yes, they do. There are definitely tears on yeah. the first couple yeah. days of kindergarten, but they get past it, and yeah. and they end up, you know, I, I've seen very, very, very few children who don't end up loving uh, most, being there and uh, being with their friends and being with their teachers. So, they love, you know, that's the best. Uh, my son-in-law taught kindergarten and my wife, my wife, his wife, my daughter, <laughs> teaches uh, preschool and kindergarten. Uh, and uh, they did it, uh, they work now in Prince William County. And uh, they just got back from Malaysia. And that's what, in fact, they're going back to Malaysia to teach in a school over there in the summer. And that's what she's going to be teaching. And, uh, she says, virtual learning by kindergarten is not easy. No. <laughs> and no, they were thrown into that. So, but that's where you learn, and it just takes a special person to be a kindergarten teacher, I think. Yes, it does. And it's just not for the faint of heart. And uh, No, it is not. <laughs> uh, you know, how frustrated you get as a parent. You can imagine when you got everybody's little monsters running around. Exactly. <laughs> it is a tough job. It is exhausting, So we want to sure. give, uh, you know, thumbs up to all our kindergarten yes. teachers. Yes, yes. And again, don't forget to get registered, get that physical, yes. check out the school website. Start now. Don't wait. Don't wait. Yep. And that, that link, that live link will be there on April 6th. So right. please, please get on that. We can't wait to see a school full of children we come it. August We 10th. love it. We love it. Yes. Again, Lisa, thanks so much for coming in and talking Thank to us. Thank you for we having really, me. I appreciate it. Thanks again. Uh-huh.